Howdy ladies and gentlemen, Michael here again from Guitargate.com and uh, here's a slow country tune with a perfect progression, perfect melody and such a great song for all you guys to try to figure out and learn um, and try to get you know your melodic kind of lines right. It's just, it's just perfect country arranging, uh, not to mention it's such a powerful song. You know, the story behind it is great and Jamie Johnson just absolutely crushes it. So this song is in B flat. Um, it's in the, in the neighborhood of B flat. So you have B flat, A flat, and E flat. So technically, it's a five chord, a four chord, and a one chord, but B flat sounds like home. So this is what would be you know, referred to as a mixolydian progression. So that sounds like home, but that's your five chord. Four chord, one chord. And um, this is a super common progression. This 5-4-1 thing is in so many different tunes, and it's got such a great floaty sound to it, right? Mixolydian's got that great thing going on. So when you do your melodies, it's just major, but with a flat 7. That's it. Now, it does have one little change in the uh, bridge, where it does go to your 6 chord, if you're thinking B flat is 1 which it kind of does this for a second. So it goes to G minor, and then it goes to F major to E flat. So now we're really in B flat. So this is six, four, and we start five, four, and then it does it again. And then it's back to the main progression. Now let's talk about the melody. The melody is so cool, and there's two little things in particular that I uh, really just, I can't get out of my head. So the first one is just this simple line. We're in B flat. And when you're soloing over this and trying to learn this melody, your zone is right in here. This is where he's singing, your, your basic. That basic pentatonic box with this being your root. And it starts with the melody starting on the fifth, right? So. This is your fifth, your third, and your major sixth. This is very interesting. Typically, you know, when you start melodies, you're always thinking, oh, it's it's on the root, but this is all about the fifth, and it really lends to this mixolydian sound. So now when it goes down to here to that E flat, right? This is when we're playing over the A flat chord. So this is the fifth. So again, it's a melody about the fifth. So fifth, slide down to the next fifth, and it hangs right here. It stays on that same note, the same E flat note, and now we're on E flat. That's the root, and then goes to the other root. So it's about the first two being the fifth of the chord, and then it resolving to the root for the second two. Super cool. Next thing is that when it goes, after it does that twice, it goes to the hook, right? And this is. So you're over this one chord, you're over the B flat. And now you're starting on your root, and your target is your major third. If it looks like we were scared to death, that's that D. And then you're just going up and down, right? You can take some liberties there. But then when it goes to this four chord, right? Or again, flat seven, right? You want to look at it. A flat, it goes, it hits the four in the melody, which is again the fifth of this chord. This is crucial. This is a fifth based melody. And that really sells it. So it's, you know. Uh, over the. And then finally that tag, should have seen it in color. It's. Right, that call on color is your two, your nine. That sounds like the five chord. And it 
resolves back to the one. And if you put that all together, you just get this great, great country melody and obviously great lyrics and a super simple progression. And when you go to cover this with your band, less is more, just minimalism all day. If you do take a lead, try to stick to that melody. But listen to this one. This is just perfect arrangement. When you listen to the actual production, the voice leading is perfect. It's a simple melody, which is purposeful. It, it, it's a mixolydian sound. The targets of the melody are about, you're creating that kind of floatiness, that loneliness on the fifth. The fifth is what's doing that. And then it always kind of resolves back to the one. And in that high part of the melody where it jumps up in the hook, the, the, the four that you hit there in that melody, that's the fifth of the chords you're playing over. So again, it really lends itself to that, you know, just that perfect fifth floaty kind of feel. Um, just classic country song, perfectly written, perfectly arranged, perfectly produced. No wonder it's a hit. Give it a shot.